Hello everybody, Rajesh here from Rajeshah.com again. So, um, I've been sitting in with my swimming coach for my two kids recently. And it's our third or fourth session already. And this idea just came to my head. I was wondering, I called my wife and said, Hey, how much do we pay our swimming coach actually for our two kids swimming each time? So she told me that she pays the coach 75 bucks for 45 minutes. Then I'm like, whoa, and the gear started to run in my head. I'm like, actually, if you have a specific skill that someone's willing to pay for, for example, um, sports based, for example, football or swimming, and you have to search for it, right? I think it's not bad an income, right? And before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, do remember to sign up for my channel, subscribe down below, and click the like button. Please help me. Thank you for that. So, I wanted to create an art, a video about how you can create a, a, like you know, an extra 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 bucks a month you know, if you have a very specific skill like for example swimming, right? And if you're okay with teaching and having fun teaching kids, I think it's quite a good way to make an extra couple of grand each month. But when I pull out the numbers, I'm like, hmm, actually you can make more than a few grand each month, you know? So there's a few levers, right? Okay, let's just go based on this one first, okay? So let's go based on what, what my teacher is charging us for my two kids per session per week. So per session, we pay him 75, right? Like I, I showed you before. So normally it's once a week. We do it every Friday at 5 to me. So that's number of sessions. So that's each time. So, and 75.75 or half an hour is 45 minutes, right? So, depending on how much time you have and how many sessions you have, you can, that will change your income a lot, right? So, say you are not so hardcore into it, you just want to have feel some, some slots per day in the whole month. So, say you number of sessions per day, you only want to do two sessions of 45 minutes. So, put, let's put two. And you only want to do this on the weekend. So that's four weekends a month. So that's eight days, right? So how much can you earn in that case? So you can earn an extra thousand bucks a month over here. It's very clear. See? Over here. This is just you. If you are a swim coach or football coach, whatever it is, right? Let's talk about swimming coach. Just have two 45 minute sessions on Saturdays and Sundays. For four weekends and you just plug in another thousand to a month. That's it. That's it. Right? And of course, I calculated here. This means that you work you an extra uh, 12 hours a month. Okay? Right? You might use my math sound. Time, sometimes four, yeah, correct, it's fine, okay? So this is if you're doing this part-time with two students, based on what my, my teacher is doing. So say you want to ramp it up, you don't want to do two sessions a day only, then there's more mothers and children who observe the session, and they say, hey, coach, swimming coach, can you teach my kids too? And say, for then organically, you went from two sessions on Saturday and Sunday each, now you become four and all of a sudden you're earning 2400 a month working six hours a week which is pretty nice to me right this is cool this is really cool this is just extra money basically working six hours a week right which is three hours on saturday three hours on sunday and you earn an additional 2400 a month you can use it to pay off your loan, you can use it to invest, whatever, right? And and then that got me started. I'm like, hmm, when does it become crazy nice? You know, in a nice way. Say you grow some more and you start having students on weekdays as well, right? So say not just you're working eight hours, uh, eight days a month, which is only on weekends. Say you start to have more people booking you for throughout the week say you have also bookings instead of working eight days a month you suddenly become 
extra one day a week, which is you become 12 days a month. All of a sudden, you earn 3,600 a month. There's nothing that means that, you know, 2,600 is an average salary in Singapore. It's pretty okay. Again, remember, you are technically working nine hours a week to get 3,600 a month. I am simplifying it a lot, but this is the potential of what you can earn as a swim coach, right? Part-time. And then say, you, are, you, you decide to say, okay, um, I'm earning as much or I'm getting close to earning as much as my main job already. And I have too much fun swim, swimming, right? So I want to work, I want to kill off my full-time job. I want to dedicate into my swimming, right? So then you decided you keep it with just four sessions a day max. Okay, you don't tie yourself out too much. So instead of working 12, hour, 12 days a month, which is four days, sorry, three days a week, right? You decide to say, okay, I'm going to do it four days a week. Okay? Maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Whatever the, the parents and the kids want. So instead of working 12 days a week, you're now working, so I said 12 days a month, now working 16 days. And you're taking home 4,008. Zero politics, right? Zero shit with crazy uh, colleagues or crazy bosses. Zero politics. You're working 12 hours a week, getting paid about five grand a month. I think it's pretty strange. I like it. So you can actually earn a good amount as a swim coach, right? Um, what else, huh? So say you decide, say, okay, I'm going to go a bit crazier. I'm going to work normal days. I'm going to work 20 days a month, which is five days per week, and I take two days off. Okay, that's 20 days a month, right? All right. Well, and you're earning a respectable 6000 a month, or 72 grand a year. I think that's pretty great, if you ask me. And still, you're working 15 hours a week. This actual working, uh, we haven't factored in the three uh, I mean, I, I'll discuss to you later what we haven't factored in, which is trans traveling time. Unless you live in a condo where you're doing food down, that everybody wants to, to, to learn from you too, which is awesome. But of course, it's not always that way. And this is how much a swim coach can earn on the side, right? So let's say you earn on the side, you just work on big ends, which is eight days a month. And two sessions each time. 1200 a month extra. Working three hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday. This would be great if you have a, if you have swimming pool downstairs. So you have you minimize your travel time. Okay? So I don't talk too much about one student and three students because um I don't I I, I make the hours as not as uh, linear growth, you see. So I go go based on what my current digit is charging already over here. So let's talk about what we haven't factored in. So the first thing that we haven't factored in is this. Ah, I spoke about this now. Transport. So the more time you take to, to travel to your client's place, it eats into it, this actual cost in the petrol if you drive a car and all the, all the costs associated with cars or with public transport. The taxi or bus, you still have to pay money. It could cost money. So we haven't factored that in. So we haven't, let's go to the next one. What have we factored in? Let's see, okay. Tax. Okay. Yes, yes. Of course, this amount is taxable, man. So tax is not something that we can avoid. So it's taxable amount. So it depends on, on what uh, tax rate your, com your country is charging you. So maybe around 10%. I expect 10% tax. Okay, next one. What have we factored in? Advertising and marketing costs. So you might want to um, have a, a print run of name cards or flyers to be distributed uh, or website. Maybe it has web posting fees, web design fees. Mm, but typically they don't charge that. They don't cost that much. You know, um, it's usually once off as well. But there's some uh, monthly fees. But it's usually, usually it's the first time fees that's the most expensive rather than the ongoing fees. Yeah, 
There's of course there's insurance. You have to buy insurance for yourself for your practice. It's a it's a professional indemnity. So this might, may, may cost you about a couple hundred bucks a year or a month. I do not know. For my company in physiotherapy, we pay about three grand for all our for our entire group, which is about ten practitioners, right? So that's about three hundred bucks per person per year. So it's, but we have scale. So it depends on you as a solo practitioner. What else we have in factor in? Let's see. Ah, certs. So of course, to become a swimming coach, you normally need to have a cert. Um, I do not know how much it costs. As a one-time off registration and a yearly uh, renewal. Um, again, back to my experience as a therapist. For us, we our, uh, we earn our, our cert a once-off thing because we go for the course. It's like a full-time or part-time program. But every year, every two years, we need to pay um, a renewal of our license. So we pay about two hundred bucks. I mean, two years, so it's 100 bucks a year, right? And what's the last thing I, didn't, I haven't covered yet? I haven't covered yet. Ah, seasonality. It doesn't really, this isn't really a, a, a fact that much in Singapore, does it? Well, there's rainy seasons, so when there's thunderstorms, normally we, for safety reasons, the stream coach will say, okay, let's not have the, the, the session because safety is more important. We don't get lightning struck by lightning, right? So, in Singapore, it's typically thunderstorm, no swimming. Okay, um, depends on which country you're in. If you have snow, sometimes if there's heated pool, it's fine. So it really depends what's available, what's the seasons in your country, and what's available as a backup as well. In fact, in Singapore, even though there's thunderstorms, if there's actually indoor pool, we can you can continue swimming. So you can actually um, factor, you can actually settle into an indoor pool to do your swimming. So there's no no matter what, there's no reason to cancel. Which is good unless you're under, huh? right? So that's what I want to share with you today in my extra 1K series, 1K plus series. Okay, um, I'll be diving more into different um, opportunities for you to earn more, save more, and invest more. And today's session is about how much can a swim coach earn on the side, and if, if you ramp it up all the way, how much can you earn, right? I mentioned earlier, just as, as, a, as a bonus. You, if you take note, there's liver one, liver two, liver three. I briefly mentioned about increasing your livers here. So for example, if you work more days in a month, for example, you work four days a week, times four weeks is 16 days, that's two, you can earn 2004, assuming, assuming you only have two sessions a day, right? Okay. But one of the biggest levers that you can, you can affect the entire chain of how much you earn Chase how much you, you, you charge. You, instead of saying 75 bucks, you charge 100 bucks. Immediately, you, from 2004, you become 2002. See? Right? Can you tell? So, charging, charging appropriately, or at least at market rate, will make you more. Undercharging will not make you more. Volume gain is in the way. And one more thing I haven't factored in is um, cancellations. So it depends on your cancellation policy. Some places have a cancellation policy where they, where they will say that even if, if you are last minute cancelled, you will still bill you, depending on the reason. But if you're unwell, we will waive it off, right? So these are what things you can consider about. If you have a skill that we need, the people are willing to pay for, for example, if you, are, you have a swimming um, skill and you, are, you want to be a swimming coach, this is how much you can earn on the side, right? If you teach two sessions, the day of two students each time, and you let's say you work only the weekend, which is eight days in a month, you can earn, you can pocket a thousand two hundred every single month. Which you to do fun. I had fun doing this video, and I will try to get more people to interview to talk about these uh, such opportunities that and what they are doing to earn more on the side. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Take care, boys and girls. Earn as much as you can. Take care. Bye.